Before 1st of March 2020, SA citizens who worked in other countries for less than SARS's 183 days in a year rule have always declared their offshore income and any taxes deducted offshore on their South African ITR-12 tax return. The new 1.25 million exemption does not apply to these SA taxpayers who worked offshore for less than SARS's period. The new 1.25 million exemption on income earned offshore only applies to SA citizens who worked offshore and earned remuneration offshore for at least 117 days in the 2021 year, which at least 60 days were continuous. Because of lockdowns, the 183-day rule has been changed to a 117-day rule for the 2021 tax year. Before 1st of March 2020, these SA citizens have been considered by SAS as non-residents for tax purposes, and these citizens have been seen as liable for tax in the country where they worked. In cases where these South African citizens worked in a country where there's no income tax, then these South African citizens have benefited by paying no tax in the foreign country where they worked and paying no tax in South Africa. SARS now sees this as unfair. SARS has introduced new tax measures targeting those South African citizens who worked in other countries for at least the 117 day period. These South African citizens will now pay tax in South Africa on the remuneration earned offshore less an exemption amount of up to 1.25 million rand. These taxpayers must also register with SOS as provisional taxpayers. 1.25 million rand sounds very generous, but remuneration earned offshore must include salary and fringe benefits such as flights, transport, accommodation, security services provided, etc. So the 1.25 million exemption could be used up very quickly. One tax caters for these new regulations in a very simple way with a minimum of entries. Whether the taxpayer earned remuneration working offshore for more than the 117 day rule period or less than the 117 day rule period, any income tax deducted in the foreign country can be claimed on the SA citizen's tax return and in Wintax under code 4111. Wintax will calculate any Section 6 quat limit, if applicable, on how much of the tax deducted offshore may be claimed as a tax credit on the tax assessment. Obviously, the exit and entry stamps in the taxpayer's passport would be used to verify the date spent in the foreign country. Note that SARS says that the exemption applies where at least 117 days are spent actually working in the foreign country, earning remuneration. If a taxpayer spends 100 days actually working in a foreign country and then spends 30 days on holiday in that country, then, although their passport may show they spent 130 days in the foreign country, they never spent 117 days actually working in the foreign country, earning the foreign remuneration. In a case like that, the exemption will not be allowed.